Norm Stockton here with the one and only Michael Tobias and the one and only Daniel Tobias. And uh, we're here at the LA Music Academy taking a little break to uh, talk about the brand new MTD Norm Stockton artist model. And um, we actually did this in yeah. New York about two months ago, but you couldn't hear Michael over yeah, the, uh, the shop noise was a little extreme. So I just wanted to um, take a moment to kind of share with you a little bit of the story behind the new bass. As many of you know, I've been a huge fan and enthusiastic user of MTD basses since uh, 1997 when I first got this bass. And um, this is the, my uh, MTD 535, number 252. There are separate YouTube clips of both of these instruments, by the way. But I just wanted to quickly um, point them out because they led to and sort of resulted in the new Norm Stockton artist model that we're going to be talking about. Uh, amazing bass, especially for slap stuff and just incredible tone. Um, the J5 that Daniel's holding is a bass that some of you might be familiar with. It's a great rock bass, just big, thick tone, very aggressive sounding. And I use that for uh, Today is the Day in Real Life. All of my work actually with Lincoln Brewster. The challenge is that this bass doesn't really do what this bass does, and this bass doesn't really do what that bass does. And I was looking for a way that I could travel and maybe take one bass and uh, enter the MTD Norm Stockton artist model. The fundamental thing I was looking for was you know, just a really good modern slap tone. And then in addition, just a big, beefy, warm, finger bass rock thing. And throwing it on the side, if possible, was that bridge, J bass, Jocko kind of thing. And this bass does all three of those pretty stunningly. Thank you. What our focus was to try to blend the two instruments, not necessarily using the same woods, but combining the electronics and finding a wood package that fit sonically what Norm was looking for. So we came up with an alder body, a quilted maple top, maple neck, and a bird's eye board with titanium inlays in order to stiffen the instrument and make it have more bouncy response like the Wenji. Um, Wenji has a peculiar response when you play it that is quite good but very different from maple. The uh, titanium inlays that you're talking about, um, they're, it's not like an inlay in the, in the ornamental sense. No, no, no. They're reinforcement bars that go along either side of the truss rod. They're not strong enough to overpower the truss rod, but they add stiffness and a quicker response to the maple neck. We took a lot of time to sort of get the uh, voice of the neck correct with you, and I think that's a major feature yeah, about this bass is that we ended up putting the titanium in it and laminating the back of the Saratoga back head, and that helps um, relieve some of the hot spots and the dead spots by controlling the way the peg head vibrates. And that really made a big yeah, difference, yeah. yeah. Without over laminating everything and taking the openness out of the bass. That's the whole thing. It's like a, it's a sort of a balancing act, right? Because yeah, you tweak much. one thing and it's interdependent, so yeah, it really very, affects other things. Yeah, very much so. We spent a lot of time getting that ready and right with this model, and it's, yeah, I think it shows. Yeah. And so the electronics blend is basically dual coil pickups in a smaller shell that can be split from parallel humbucking to single coil. And you can switch them individually. It gives you a pretty wide, wide range of voicing. And you go from having the MTD standard electronics to almost a jazz bass. Treble mid bass, the, treble, uh, the mid has a mid push pull. a push pull at 400, 800 as opposed to the three position. Blend and, uh, and volume. Um, it was pretty interesting with the mid-range frequencies, by the way, and the selection of 400, 800. That was pretty much sitting in the Bartolini uh, shop and control cavity open, uh, wired to a rotary knob. And I was pretty much just playing and turning that knob. It was unmarked and just finding the frequencies that spoke best with this instrument. 
and that ended up being 400. The interesting thing is that with 400, which sounds kind of more low mid or mid, uh, it has a profound impact on the low end impact of the bass, sure. much more than I thought. And then 800 definitely was that whole bridge Jocko J bass yes. sound. Yeah. And in terms of the headstock, uh, matching headstock yeah. with um, custom graphics and my scribble. And then uh, this is the uh, custom Groove Gear fret wrap, which goes with the color of the bass nicely. By the way, uh, this Wenge slap ramp, um, all of the bases that I use, I have bony fingers, and all of the bases that I use for slapping, um, I need something that'll basically reduce the distance from the top of the base to the string, because if I get too much of my finger underneath the string, I get stuck. So these all have that slap ramp that basically makes it where I only get that much of my finger underneath the string. So it's, it's entirely an ergonomic thing. But with the, uh, with the NS Artist model, um, you can remove it, and yeah. the truss rod cover, yeah. matchy truss rod cover, is all yes. intact, and so. Yeah. Or you could gain weight, and then we don't have to do that. <laughs> Kudos to the Tobiases for really dialing that in, and it's, uh, it's the most versatile MTD I've ever played. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited about it. And the feedback from the show... It was pretty outstanding. People were pretty floored. Yeah. You know? And it, what's awesome is that it's not just R&B players or funk players or jazz players or rock players. It's like yeah. kind of across the board. Everybody's like, oh, I get it, you know? This configuration, not the wood, because the wood's basically regular but higher quality. Um, the pickup configuration and the electronics 35 inch scale on the Saratoga body or only for the Norm Stockton model. That will not be optional on any other instrument. Well, wow. Yeah, any MTD, any MTD dealer, too many D's in a row, <laughs> um, should be able to place the order for you. We have some body blanks sitting ready to, to go forward. There are two bases in the shop almost finished and um, they'll be available shortly. And uh, available as a four string or a five string? Four string and five string only. Okay, and further information at uh, mtdbase.com, Mike at mtdbase.com, or Daniel at mtdbase.com. Michael Tobias, Daniel Tobias, this is the Norm Stockton. Stockton. <laughs> this is the Norm Stockton uh, MTD Norm Stockton Artist Edition Base. Check it out. God bless you. Thank you guys. Thank you.